We're back here at the studio talking with Diane Butler, the Economic Development Coordinator for Grand County. I did it without looking that at the great. thing. Thank you. Perfect. And, uh, you know, you've been going around. We're kind of back to 2011 here, going around and getting to know a lot of the businesses mm -hmm. and a lot of the challenges with our economy up here. And, uh, you know, a lot of it's going to be tourism related. Mm -hmm. What would you say? You know, off the cuff? We'll, we'll know better after we get finished with our profile that we're um, doing and will be completed this summer. But I would guess we're at about 70% tourism. And this is the whole but county, too. This isn't just county. Winter Park. A lot yeah. of people think the resort's all the tourism. No, Everything else we have is... hunting in the, in the West End and Kremlin. And, of course, we have a national park in our backyard. And there's a lot Big of it based and, on you know, right, tourism. Yeah. But it's also the service industries. You know, their businesses often base the plumbers, the snow plowers, all those folks are also serving our tourism industry and their services. So are we still in the identification? Like, wh how are we going to... You know, our, our biggest challenge here is not one area of this county is 12 months a year, you know, no, for tourism. No, the challenge is the, is the fact that we're seasonal. And so, uh, and you know, what are, are we making progress with some of these owners, or how are we that, trying to work? You know, I think there's, we've really, uh, we had to identify really a, a plan. And so what we've done is come up with seven objectives, seven goals. And I kind of view it always as my tree because I look at, Everything kind of is a tree and how the branches are part of that, that plan. And um, within those seven objectives, we have um, things that are long-term, like transportation yep. and better broadband, higher education. There's a lot of things that a lot of people are working on in the community that will help towards the things that are long-term goals. I know goals. you're here, especially the transportation has been it's a, a big hot one. topic for years here. We'd love a to get something one. that's yeah. publicly funded that runs year-round, mm -hmm. which we just don't have right now. Right. It's going to be a... And it's hard when you're looking at a county of 14,000, just over 14,000 people and in 1,800 square miles of terrain that you have to cover. It's, it's right. hard to do that. But the county's working on that now. Um, and I think some of those projects will happen. But in the meantime, we had immediate needs that we started to address that were really creating a strong foundation. And that was some of the business training. We brought in the Small Business Development Center, and they're gonna be doing a course here in the summer that we hope to do in the late spring that we hope to do every year that's called a next level course. And it's an intensive 36 hour course that okay. will We'll give them a roadmap at the end of the day. How much time are they committing to this? 36, 36 hours? hours. Okay. Oh, so when you say an hour, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking college credit. No, you know, yeah, no, okay. 36 hours. So so that will really, at the end of the day, give them a business plan. So you're going to go grind so, it out but then come out with a, yeah. a great... A lot of businesses, you know, small entrepreneurs, they just start, they come with a vision. Well, a lot of us come here as ski bums. I mean, they yeah, come as ski bums yeah. and then they say, How hey, do you what, make a living? What do you need? You know, what do we mm -hmm. want to do? You know, Hernando, we want to make great pizza and stuff sure. like that. And so to give right. them some more tools from the business standpoint, you know, not all of us came with a business degree or very no. few did, really. Right, you know, very few. Yeah. If a degree at yeah. all. You know, it's like we got mm -hmm. the, but you see the lifestyle here, you love it and you want to... That's, yeah. but that's a true entrepreneur, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I think um, we're trying to help elevate their business to really um, embrace the vision of what they want to be, the uniqueness of, of what they're trying to do and make it sustainable for them, find a way so they can keep doing it. So are you approaching them and saying, we think you need this, you know, or, or do they no, come to you I or do you they, kind of put it out there? We put it out there and we work closely with our chambers and also... Make sure um, the communication's there so they know that they can right. come and ask for And more. we're actually, right now, we're doing a whole series of um, what we're calling business road shows that will be coming to each of the communities uh, monthly. Well, I'll tell will... you what, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. Maybe we'll talk a little more about the, the road shows that yeah. are coming up here. Yeah, thanks. All right, talking with Diane Butler, the Economic Development Coordinator with Grand County, and we'll be back in a little bit. Mm -hmm.